Jimmy Kimmel Live. I'm your guest host, Lamorne Morris. That's right. Yeah, I like that. And I just want to let you know, Jimmy, I'm honored that you asked me to fill in for you. I truly am. And also that all that stuff that was broken in your office, it was broken when I got there, OK? <laughs> it wasn't me. And that's what you get for turning your show into a damn Airbnb. <laughs> but seriously, I'm like the 800th guest host this summer. And it's, uh, it's been quite the lineup. I don't really feel special. You know what I mean? They, they've had Emmy winners on the show, Tony winners, a former US senator. But only one guest host was nominated for a 2012 Teen Choice Award. And can you guess who that person was, Guillermo? You, my friend. Yeah, damn right it was. Yes. Guillermo, did you watch the new Game of Thrones show last night? No, I did not see it. Oh, you didn't see it? No. Oh, my gosh, me neither. Me neither. <laughs> but, uh, but it's called The House of the Dragon. Now, when I first heard that title, I thought, man, the Chinese restaurant on my block is finally getting its own TV show. <laughs> I was very honored for them. Uh, but, uh, but this show takes place before the events of Game of Thrones, right? Um, but here's an interesting fact. It actually doesn't. You understand? Because this is all some made-up dragon bull <laughs> It's not real, you guys. It's not real. I'm just kidding. I am just kidding. I don't want to upset the show's core fan base, which is men 18 to 49 who have never touched a titty before. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. My mom is here. My mom is actually in the audience right now. And mom, you don't, you don't like it when I swear on TV, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> no, I do not. No, she does not. This is true. You know, I once said the word ass on TV, and then uh, she called me up the next day, and she's like, you know, you don't have to say that, right? <laughs> uh, but mom, if you don't want me to say titty, um, I promise I will not say titty uh, again, OK? You okay. won't hear me say titty. <laughs> not going to do it. Not going to do it. Uh, so folks out there, uh, for the rest of the night, I will not be using the word titty. Um, <laughs> the word titty. No, no, for sure, for sure, the word titty. Uh, I won't. I won't do it. I refuse to do it. The word titty won't come out of my mouth at all. <laughs> not at all. Nor will a titty come into my mouth that <laughs> no. It'd be problematic for me. It'd be very, very problematic for me. I'm, I'm, I'm joking, Mom. You raised me right. My mom raised me. <laughs> Look at her face. Ooh, <laughs> she is pissed. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, seriously, Mom, my mom raised me right, and she raised me just in time because, according to the Commerce Department, due to inflation, I'm not sure if you knew this, but the cost of raising a child is now over $300,000. Wow, and that's very good to know. So next time my kid throws a tantrum, I can ask her, do you really think you're worth more than a condo in Cleveland? Because <laughs> you're not acting like it right now. Um, actually, my two-year-old daughter, she stayed up tonight to, to, to watch me, so... Hi, sweetie. My daddy loves you. That's right. Now go to bed. Go to bed. Is she gone? Is she in a slumber right now? All right, because uh, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Uh, she is possessed by the devil. She really is. It's like a, like a little stinky little Chucky doll, you know what I mean? We are in fear in our household every single night. Um, but if you're looking for an affordable activity to do with your kids, you should consider taking them on a ride on the giant slide in Detroit. Have you seen this? It's fun. It's only a dollar, right? But the contusions will last a lifetime. Giant slide on Belle Isle now reopen, and not as fast as it was on Friday when it made its annual debut. People bouncing on the slide, crashing back down. This is not how it's supposed to go. There's now a song about it. You might break your back on the giant slide. You might even break your neck on the giant slide. You can even bump your head on the giant slide. Watch your hands on your legs on the giant slide. Mm, mm, I am so sorry, Beyonce. That is the jam of the summer. Um, and if my daughter ever acts up, I'm taking her ass to Detroit. Um, <laughs> speaking of people falling on their asses, let's talk about Donald Trump, OK? Now, I mean, he finally got some okay news this week. You know, ever since the FBI searched his house a couple of weeks ago, downloads of Trump's Truth Social app have skyrocketed, right? I tried to sign up for Truth Social just so I could see what all the fuss about was about and uh, also to see what my mom's profile looked like. <laughs> uh, but she don't, she don't got a problem. I'm kidding, y'all. But, uh, but when I uploaded my profile picture, I got this error message. It says, uh, you're not one of the good ones. 
And also, uh, also, please upload a brighter photo. <laughs> not that type, apparently. No, I'm not. Um, are you are you guys following the drama with WNBA star Brittany Griner? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's crazy, right? Russia has sentenced Griner to nine years in prison for possession of cannabis oil. That's right, cannabis oil. But help is on the way because Dennis Rodman says he's going to Russia to negotiate her release. <laughs> Poor Brittany. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, that's like getting kidnapped and, be and then being told, don't worry, Flavor Flav is on the case. <laughs> Let me tell you something. If something like this happens to me, if somebody kidnaps me, don't send Dennis Robin. Send, send Air Bud, okay? I'll, I'll, I'll take anyone, okay? Show me in the, real, in the rule book where it says a dog can't negotiate the release from a, a Siberian gulag, okay? <laughs> Anybody but Dennis Robin. Uh, but listen, if Dennis Robin frees Brittany Griner when the White House could not, <laughs> President Biden should have to marry Carmen Electra and get a <laughs> piercing, right? <laughs> Just, I want you guys to imagine this right now, our president's penis. Everybody, just put it in your mind right now. Be dazzled. Oh, so many, so many rings and things and zippers. Oh, that'd be fantastic. What is that, gross? Yeah, who cares? <laughs> I'm here, you're stuck with me. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me, how did I prepare for my late night hosting debut? Well, I'll tell you, first, I texted Jimmy for advice. And when he did not respond, um, <laughs> I spent a day training with one of Hollywood's all-time greats. And, uh, Mom, you might want, to, uh, might want to cover your ears for this one, or get out completely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? You're late. Huh? Uh, I am? I thought the show didn't tape for, like, six hours. Mother... I've been here since 5.15 in the morning. You understand what I'm telling you? 5.15 in the morning. Um, who are you? Boo. <laughs> See, you never know. Yeah, I'm gonna train you. You understand what I'm telling you? Today is your training day. <laughs> no, I'm good, man. I've done the show a few times. Um, I got this. Oh, you think you got it? That's what you're telling me? You the big man now? Huh? Am I to understand that you are the big man in late night now? Well, no, I just... No, I just... I, 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 I just what, mother... Huh? Huh? Who the guests on tonight? Huh? What time do the Cleotones rehearse? What time does Guillermo need his tongues? Huh? I, I, I don't know. Huh? I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't know exactly. You don't know. You don't know Yeah, you ain't made it a host no damn Jimmy Kimmel. This is chess, not checkers. No, 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 hey, 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 I, I swear to you, this is what I want, okay? Tell me what you need me to do. I'll do anything. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs> to be truly effective, a good late night host must know and love television. Particularly this 60 inch 4K bad boy with Dolby Digital Plus. I said Dolby Digital Plus. Wait, are you gonna steal the TV? No, sucker. You are. No, absolutely not. I can't do that, I'm not a thief. You can't, huh? That's what you're telling me, huh? You're telling me you can't? What are you, some sort of pretentious little bitch who don't watch TV, huh? huh? You like to read books and <laughs> Little Harry Potter bitch? Ah, it's just a dope. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, whatever the okay. ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh my God, okay, what do we do? What do we do? Just calm down, stay cool, stay calm, stay collected. Mr. Boots, open up! Here's what I need you to do. Hold this. What? What? Oh my God, is this crack? Did you put crack on my neck? Crack? Hell no, those are Guillermo's tongues. Huh? How you doing? Yeah, Axel Foley, Detroit PD. You guys having a party? Ah, yeah, Detroit PD, huh? You a long way from home, dog. But don't worry, I got this. You see, I'm LAPD. And it seems that this young brother here took this TV from off the wall, and oh, he no, no, intends no, 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 no. on lying. stealing it. He's lying. He's got a gun. A gun. I got a gun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. oh! You shot me in the ass! <laughs> oh, <laughs> you mother... <laughs> ah! Ah! Are you okay? Why are you screaming? Huh? Hey, yeah, no, no, I'm good. I just, um, 
I was doing my vocal warm-ups because I'm a professional actor. Ha! <laughs> Did the TV just fall down? Duh. Isn't that what it looks like? You stupid? No, it, it fell, but then I caught it. You're not going to take that, right? <laughs> no, of course not. Why would I, uh, what? Why would I do that? That's... Oh, OK. Then I'll take it. <laughs> Have a good show, Mr. Lamar Morris. Oh, Gero, your thumbs. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lamar Morris. Brought to you by Tums, the official antacid of Guillermo Rodriguez.